Hey guys, just wanted to do this quick summary with regards to what we have learned so far on the topic of pitchforks. But also, I wanted to throw out a bit of bonus material, which I think this chart in particular shows very nicely. So this is Tilray, which is a marijuana stock. And as I say, towards the end of this video, we'll be discussing a few of the key bonus bits of material, which we haven't discussed so far within the tutorial. So first of all, to summarize about pitchforks, essentially they are a trend following tool, which if we just pull on this pitchfork here, we can see the trend was very nicely shown with this downward pitchfork, which is a shift pitchfork. And you can can see that price action was held nicely until we left the pitchfork here we left it to the upside and clearly there was a loss of the downward trend at that point right there where we lose this upper warning line but on top of just showing trend pitchforks offer something a little bit more we are also considering momentum so we have the very important median line which cuts through the middle of the trend and the more we deviate above or below the median line the more we can be considered to be overbought or oversold now the lines within the pitch fork typically acts as very useful support and resistance levels which are very useful when combined with another indicator for example an indicator that offers horizontal support resistance my preference being Elliott wave or simple Fibonacci levels so an example here with regards to this Tilray chart is we can see that we've come down very hard here and then we've had this what I call a terminal overshoot so this is one of the key bits of information that we have not yet covered once we see within a downtrend or an uptrend a big overshoot of the warning line it will often mark out the beginning of a reversal yeah it's like the hysteria towards the end of a trend so we get that big 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 sell-off right here we take out the lower warning line dramatically at that point i wouldn't jump in on a long position i would just be homing in on the chart and checking on it every day, looking for a potential setup or an upside trade opportunity. So here, what we're looking at, we're really, the, the ideal opportunity is once we break out of this upper warning line, okay? So anything in and around here. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. So we've gone up first of all, and then we've done this very corrective looking price action if we consider it from an Elliott Wave point of view. So one useful bit of information is this Fibonacci level. So we can go from low to high, First of all, we've considered it looks very corrective, and we've also hit a very nice Fib level at the 0.618 Fib retracement. Now I'm gonna show you another pitchfork just sh looking at this lower time frame bit of price action. So if I just pull up, not that pitchfork, but this one, we can see here, in fact, it'll be easier if I just pull off the bigger pitchfork and we can just zoom in a little bit. So now we can see, we know that we have had that terminal overshoot, so there's a good chance we're gonna reverse the trend. So we look at the initial leg up and then we look at the correction of that leg and we're looking to try and identify when that correction has finished because that is a potential trading opportunity to capitalize on what could be a really big explosive move to the upside because we're breaking a very key downward trend that has lasted a very long period of time. So the resultant move up, we can expect to be pretty explosive, okay? And we wanna get in on that at the soonest opportunity. As I say, I wouldn't get in here because I think that is a little bit risky. We could potentially keep continuing to trend to the downside. I would wait for a strong move to the upside and then I would allow, I wanna see some corrective price action that looks like it is finishing. So it looks like it's finishing here because one, we've hit the 0.618 Fib retracement, but two, we have hit the lower warning line of this shift pitchfork, which is holding the price action very, very nicely. So the opportunity, in my opinion here, is once we break out the upper warning line of this smaller pitchfork. So the long entry would be on the break of this pitchfork to the upside, and the stop would have to be beneath the low that we are considering the end of the correction. So that's the setup. And if we just clean up the chart a little bit, taking off that and zooming back out. So we've talked about the entry point. Now we need to talk about how we would take profit off the eventual breakout. So taking off that and just bringing back this pitchfork, we now need to consider some, another bit of bonus material within this video is cause and effect. So the longer the cause, which is this big move down here, the bigger the resultant effect we can expect, yeah? So we can expect a proportional reversal to the upside. Now in this scenario, again, we're respecting the Fib level. Fibs are very, very useful within trading. And here you can see the move actually went 
again to the 0.618 level. Now, any of the fibs could potentially get hit. It could be the 0.382, could be the 0.5, could be the 0.618. So another way of fine tuning which one we're likely to go into would be again to pull on a pitchfork. So in this case, we can pull on this pitchfork to the upside. So first, second, third pivots as such, and then we get these pitchfork lines and you can see very nicely, we, we test the median line nicely here and then eventually we go into the upper warning line. So in terms of taking profits, I would expect a, a minimal move into the median line. In my opinion, it needs to go higher because we are reversing this whole move down. So that's a minimum profit level, a move into the median line. At least we're gonna take out that high here to make a, a zigzag move. So a first leg, a second leg, and a third leg. Now that might just take us into this point. I think that's a very reasonable take profit level right here, the upper median line, and the 50% fib. There's a good argument we could have seen a big reversal at that point. In fact, we made it a little bit higher. So in my opinion, that is the greed move right there. I wouldn't have been holding on to that. Potentially, if I saw a shoot through, I might jump back in and then with a smaller position, look to take profits at the next level of resistance, which is a 0.618 fib retracement and the upper warning line. But in my opinion, that last bit there is purely greed because there was a very good argument for a potential reversal to the downside at this point here. So it's important to know where your entry level is and where you take profit level is. I've mentioned it very clearly there. As I say, I don't think this is a, a reasonable take profit level. You could do if you wanna be very risk averse, but just from a simple understanding of Elliott Wave and Pitchforks, we should be at least going into our upper median line here to complete what looks like more of a zigzag outlook. So there we have discussed a few bits of key bonus information where we have our terminal overshoot to the downside. Okay, in this case, it could be to the upside if we're in an upward trend. I'm just giving the example here of a downward trend. The other thing to take into consideration is cause and effect. So the big reversal should be proportional in relation to the, the downward move here. And then the Next thing I just wanna mention is with regards to pitchforks. Don't always assume that a pitchfork is gonna work. If you're using a shift pitchfork, a modified shift, an original pitchfork, and it's just not holding the price action, don't use it, don't trade. Okay, if your strategy is re regarding pitchforks, then don't trade. It should hold nicely, and if it's not, that would be a, a warning signal to me not to take that trade. I wanna see things line up very nicely. There's plenty of trade opportunities all the time. Uh, these pitchforks work time and time again. There's no need to take on a trade where you're kind of forcing a pitchfork. So that's the final key learning point. So hopefully that has all been clear. I've shown you here with this example on Tilray, we've used three different pitchforks to demonstrate the initial loss of our major trend and then using this intermediate level pitchfork to determine our target in terms of a reasonable target which as i say the upper median line was a very reasonable target but with regards to the entry that was using our lower time frame pitchfork which is this one right here so hopefully that has been clear you can actually just trade with pitchforks and ignore horizontal levels of support and resistance, but I find that my strategy incorporating the horizontal levels of support and resistance gives much better results. As I say, my preference is with regards to pitchforks and Fibonacci levels. Thank you for your attention in watching through to the end of this video. Now I know there's a lot of you watching that would like to learn how to confidently trade the financial markets independently, and I also know how confusing this can be regardless of how many stressful hours that you put in. For that reason, I've put together all of my trading knowledge in a complete course titled the works. The works consists of thorough and jargon-free lessons broken down into a comprehensive curriculum, providing you with a holistic understanding of the markets and giving you an accelerated journey to being able to analyze and trade the markets all by yourself. And for those of you that are looking for my weekly detailed video analysis on crypto and stocks, then there's Cryptology, which is a subscription that will also give you access to the works while subscribed. For more information on what's included in the works or cryptology, you can head on over to wave618.com or alternatively use the links in the description to this video for a limited time 50% discount offer. So I hope to see you on the other side, but in the meantime, if you would like to sample some of my educational videos, then you can check out these videos that you can see on your screen right now. Thanks once again, and until next time, take care.